Hey, how's it going, you guys? It's Pep Platypus here. Time to review a couple more episodes of Yu Yu Hakusho. This was actually a pretty interesting episode. Uh, 70, not, whoa, 70, whoa, 95. Um, we get to see the first spirit detective, which I didn't expect. Uh, the kids, which were kind of cool, because they acted like actual kids. They weren't little adults, like fiction likes to depict kids as little adults. Usually they don't act like actual kids. Um... We get these three bald dudes, and they have, like, this proposition for Yusuke, or they're going to take him somewhere or something. Uh, we get some Koenma stuff. You know, he's kind of, like, slumming it. He's not going back to Spirit World because he doesn't want to get punished. So, you know, that's kind of interesting. Uh, Genkai and playing video games. That was kind of funny because she's beating him at video games. Uh, Yusuke, I should say. She's beating Yusuke at video games. And then school stuff with, like, whatever, you know. But yeah, they're talking about uh, Yusuke and how he's basically kind of like, basically the psychic dude, um, first spirit detective's husband, he basically, uh, she's a chick by the way, which I thought was kind of cool, um, doesn't really matter, it's just kind of interesting, could have just been a guy, there's a lot of dudes in Yu Yu Hakusho, so, yeah, but he basically says that um, everything's peaceful, everything's cool, but Yusuke wants danger, that he's not sure that he should want danger, and, um, he talks to Genkai about it, and he talks to Koenma about it, and Genkai, you know, sends him to... It was funny, she's like, don't worry, she's nothing like Sensui, and then we see her, and I'm like, she's exactly, she's a gender-swapped Sensui, what are you talking about? Not her personality, but just, she's like got the face and the eyes and the jaw and the freaking long black, the long sleeve black sweater, it's like, this is a female Sensui, but... Whatever, is that what Yusuke is going to look like when he gets older? I don't know. But yeah, she has a couple of kids, and they're kind of cool. I forget their names, but uh, their personalities were fine. Um, so yeah. And then... And they almost do like this cool Kamehameha double attack, but we don't get to see what it looks like in full. It doesn't matter. Yusuke could totally destroy them. He's like blocking them like this, which was pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, Yusuke's got some inner turmoil going on. Didn't really go too far with it, but... Um, it was addressed, and then these bald dudes show up, and you're like, are these assassins for King Yema? What's going on? Because you know, they're going to send assassins after Yusuke, because he's pretty much fired. Oh, excuse me. And, um... What ends up happening? Let me see. They, yeah, they show up. Dude in the middle looks like Hanzo from Hunter x Hunter. I, I noticed that. Kind of like a Hanzo from Hunter x Hunter. He's just a bald dude, but he just had that look to him. But anyways... Um, I'm not saying all bald people look alike. I'm not racist. <laughs> no, but, um... Ah, uh, no fucking around. Anyways, yeah, they show up and they basically say, we're gonna take you somewhere where you wanna go or where you should be or something. That's pretty much where the episode ends, and I'm pretty sure I'm not forgetting too much. It was interesting seeing the first spirit detective. Um, she seems cool. Uh, the kids are fine. I like them. Yusuke, still cool. They're kind of talking about this angle where it's like, is Yusuke gonna be good or bad? I don't really think that's... If that's what this arc's gonna be about, is whether or not Yusuke is gonna be good or bad, that's really dumb to me. Yusuke is good through and through. I don't see him becoming evil for any reason. But he does have a lot of... Blah, 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 blah. He does have a lot of responsibility on his shoulders because he is so powerful. And they kind of dive into that a little bit in this episode. But yeah, if the whole premise of this arc's gonna be will Yusuke be good or evil it better be handled well, because I just don't think that's necessary. I don't see him becoming evil for any reason at all. It really doesn't make any sense, so... See what happens, but, um... That might just be what they're talking about now. It might not be the end game of this arc. New animation for the opening. They showed, like, the dudes from Chapter Black, like Kaito and the Shadow Dude and the Change Appearance Dude. I don't think they're gonna come back. I mean, if they're not gonna use their powers anymore, I'd be kinda weird to bring them in. Um, so yeah, I saw a couple of dudes from the Dark Tournament. If they're coming back, that'd be kind of cool, I guess. Um, if that's just, if that's part of this arc, or maybe they just showed them because it's the last opening, so let's show a bunch of characters. I would assume this is the last opening. I don't think they would change it again within, like, not even 20 episodes. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this episode. I'm not going to drag it on anymore. I'll probably give it around, like, a 7 to a 7.5. It was okay. Uh, good-ish episode of Yu Hawk Show. Paced fine, animation was fine. Um, the overall story progression, not a ton. You know, seeing the first Spirit Detective is cool, but it's not really big on story progression. 
So yeah, I give it like a 7 out of 10. It was an okay, above okay episode, like a 7.3 or something like that. Um, so yeah, now I'll talk about the next one. Okay, you guys, so episode 96 of Yu Yu Hakusho. This episode was alright. Um, one thing I really kind of didn't like, but overall it was okay. You got these three bald dudes that showed up, and they're talking to Yusuke, and they basically tell this story about how there's these three kings in the demon world, and the three of them are kind of arguing. They don't see eye to eye. One of them, Yusuke's ancestor, actually, <clears throat> excuse me, Yusuke's ancestor actually does not want to eat humans, even though it's like his steady diet, and, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, fuck. <laughs> Uh, what does he say? Yeah, he says, I don't want to eat humans, and he's been, like, fasting, and not eating, and dieting, and starving, whatever you want to call it. Maybe Yusuke's ancestor's not that bad of a dude, don't really know yet. Um, we get the other dude, one of them looks like, kind of like a mummy type thing, he... <clears throat> he says that he doesn't really care if he eats humans or not, and one of them says, I want to eat humans, fuck it, let's do it, eat all of them. So... Yeah, there's some conflicting interests there, and they're at war, and I think they said for like 500 years they've been at war, but since Yusuke's ancestor has been starving himself, he's kind of on death's door. And the bald dudes are apparently S-class demons, A and S-class, and Yusuke's like, what about the portal? It's supposed to be closed, and they're like, oh, well, we use these gross parasite things, but there's other ways to get in, and I'm sitting here like... Okay, then what was the point of the chapter Black Arc? I mean, don't get me wrong, it serves its purpose. But the big threat was the demon portal. Can't let the demon portal be opened. All hell will break loose. And then here we go in this next arc. Oh no, we can get through. Doesn't matter. Don't need a portal. I mean, there's other ways. We use parasites, but there's other ways. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, threat level gone for freaking chapter Black if I was to rewatch it. So I'd be like, okay, well, this is pointless, because even if they stop the portal, S-Class demons can still get in. It's a temporary solution, they said, at least with the bugs, but... Not bugs, but, like, weird parasite, gross things. And then Yusuke gets in a fight with one of them, kind of wants to test his strength. While his strength is still limited to below D-Class, he's able to do some pretty good work on Yusuke. He's got the ability to stretch and wiggle around and, like, contort his body. Very much reminded me of, uh older Tagoro. He wraps Yusuke up. Yusuke can't really attack him too much. Um, then I believe Yusuke says either that they are humans. I don't think he said they're humans. I believe he said you they eat humans because he said he could smell it on their breath or something like that. I could be confused. I, I might have heard that wrong, but I'm pretty sure he said they eat humans. So he's like, wait, if you're telling me this story about how you work for my ancestor and you're dedicated to him, why do you guys eat humans? And then Yusuke does this epic punch where he, like, coils the dude's head around a bunch of times. That was really kind of funny. Um, yeah, we see a little bit more of the first spirit detective. Um, not too much more, but, you know, she's there. She's whatever. The kids are still asleep. Um, yeah, I don't know. It was pretty much, you know, it wasn't a big eventful episode or anything. The backstory is cool. Um, a little bit of more, like, world building for the demon world and everything, but... Don't even know if any of, any of what they said is true or not, so I'll just have to wait and see, but... Yeah, it was a fine episode of Yu Yu Hakusho. Nothing special. Um, do you want to see where this arc is going? Got these three kings now. It's interesting, but it's nothing special yet. I have to wait and see what happens, but... Um, oh, there's, like, different shots of, like, Keiko worrying about Yusuke, and she calls Kubara, and Kubara's like, okay, I'm gonna call Genkai tomorrow and see what's going on. So maybe something will happen with that. I figured it was worth mentioning. But anyways, uh, the episode I'll probably give like the same rating I gave the last one. Like a 7 out of 10. It was an okay uh, episode. Not the fastest paced. Uh, animation was fine. Uh, what else? Story progression, not too much. So yeah, like I said, I'd probably give this episode around a 7 to a 7.3. Above okay, not quite a good episode, but of course it's not a bad episode either. So yeah, it's pretty much where I'll sit this episode around for Yu Yu Hakusho. So without further ado, thanks for watching this video. Tell me what you guys thought of these episodes of Yu Yu Hakusho in the comments below. Um, follow me on Instagram, check out my previous video in case you missed it, 
and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. Or it's probably that way. Bye.